happening, everybody? This is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got one that came in an exotic nudes box. Go to exoticnudes.com, use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. Today we've got this cup noodles crab flavor. This is from Hong Kong, so you know. I like Hong Kong. I want to go to Hong Kong so bad. The last time I tried this was way, I've kind of like now fallen into the deal where if I don't have anything like, I'm really, really low on noodles to review right now. Like really low. I think maybe I have I want to say under 10 varieties that I haven't tried currently, which is a really crummy spot for me to be in. If you're uh, watching this and you're in like anywhere uh, and you want to help out and donate some noodles, please contact me. And that would be super neato because I'm in a spot. We used to go up to Canada all the time and get them. Uh, let's start our quote of the day real quick. Been doing two quotes a day. A bonus for you. These are quotes by the guy who invented the instant noodles. Number 59. Gather information with your own eyes and ears. Number 60. Show me wisdom. Yeah, show me wisdom, not information. That's number 60. That's kind of neat. So, uh, yeah, this was, the last time I had this was number 296 in February of 2011. So, it's been 10 years. Good chance that they've changed, uh, not, see, a lot of companies, they change, the flavor will change. Not because they want it to change, but because of sourcing issues. Uh, a product that they got from a company that was part of the seasoning setup has changed. I mean, these things, these things are like, think of, you know, they've got to get salt, they've got to get flavoring, they, got, they, they don't, very few companies are completely all inside house. So they have to source all these ingredients to put in their noodles. And if something changed with the farm or the merchant that they got the noodles or the ingredients from. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm kind of like five to ten years. Yeah, that's worthy of a new review. So that's kind of where we're at. But God, 11 years ago? Wait, 2011. And this is 2021. Wow. We weren't even married a year yet. And now we just had our 11th anniversary. Um, God, what a home. We were living in Edmonds. Way back, I mean, that's like early. That was like... That was a long time ago. Before kids before a reasonably sized apartment. Wow. A lot of stuff changes. A lot of good stuff changes, let me tell you. If things have gone quite well, I'd like to think. Beep Oh. Well, here we are. So, crab. Flavor. Let's give these noodles a shot. Mm. No. 
You all better be in good out there or you ain't gonna get no frog for dinner. You ain't gonna get no god in the gonna There was like, what show was that? I think it was a Jerry Springer show. And this guy was like, his his girlfriend or wife or whatever, she, she was like all bent out of shape. I think he was probably cheating on her. I don't even know how this guy was getting any play, but. <laughs> but she was complaining because I believe the term was, he's, Jerry, he's always out with his buddies, drinking beer, going and frog gigging. Frog gigging. How does one frog gig? I don't know, but I'm, I've been fascinated. I think we watched that uh, Jerry Springer about, <laughs> probably in February of 2011. We don't have time for that business anymore. Um, what are we doing here? I'm gonna put some uh, spring onion on. I'm gonna change that music. need to find a field guide on how to use the holy slicer and point stuff where you want it to go because it doesn't seem to want to go where I want it to go where did it all go anyway kind of like here and there and everywhere but I've got this crispy onion so if you got like a fire TV stick or a smart TV they got this thing called Pluto right you probably know what that is if you have that action going on well, they've got a channel now that's all the Price is Right, like old Price is Right episodes. A new car! An ounce of gold! Chlorette's gum! Crispy fried onion! Like it never ends. There's always something different. Oh, uh, what else we got? Uh, we're gonna add some sesame seeds. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper flake. And now. We're all happy here about this. Happy little clouds. Huh? No, you want to go that way. Oh, come on now. people behind the camera or in front of the camera. I don't know where you are. It's not my business to know what you exactly are doing. Yeah.
So, tomorrow we'll have this one, and I want to send out a big round of thanks to Bobby from Toronto, man. Bobby has been a big help over the years with translating stuff. I tried, I tried very hard to get the folks in uh, the Ramen Junkies group, but they were more, they weren't very helpful. Anyways, we'll check this out tomorrow, and uh, yeah, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.